Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new video and this video is actually kindly sponsored by Honda Nuts based out of Kings Lynn and they do anything anything B-series that you need they have it on the shelf realistically if you've got EFs, EGs, EKs they have everything you need so what I suggest you do is go like their Facebook page down below follow them on Instagram and uh, make sure you stay in touch with Honda Nuts so they you can get any of your second hand parts you require and uh, yeah we work very close with Honda Nuts, I've known for a long time Barney's a great guy and uh, yeah this video is sponsored by them and you'll see why very soon so what's up guys welcome welcome to a new video and my name if you aren't if you're new here is Adam Ival and if you've been following the channel you will know we've got the Honda Legend we've got the Silvia we've got the EG we've got the MX-5 we've got the EP3 we've got the Touring and we've got the M3 we do not need to add any more cars to the lineup I have got projects coming out of my eyeballs so today we're going to pick up a new project I can't wait it's gonna be so good <laughs> but basically Barney had a car that he was getting rid of and after I sold the peach that was the Citroen Saxo I realized I needed a car to learn to weld on that was just a no, a no care car that I could just weld up do practicing on because I really know I'm gonna mess this up and I thought and Barney needed this car out of the way now so I was like well I'll just come grab it today I didn't want to come get it today I wanted to get it in a few months I'm not gonna lie but we'll take today we'll take today and we'll have to try and find somewhere to put it around here maybe next to the Sylvia I'll clear that area up but it should be good I'm gonna take Finn with me as well we're gonna load the trailer up and we're gonna get going I'm also gonna show you around what Barney does up there because I really feel like we've got a lot of Honda viewers on the channel and he may be able to help you guys out where 621 and the other companies may not be able to so if you need something and he has the car there he'll be able to sell you it it's not one of those guys who's like oh I need full money for this it's like all right I'll take that part off the door for you and that's fine so we'll go up there we'll get this done and uh, we'll go have some fun should be good swap to the other camera because I've just arrived at Barney's house he told me we we're going to his farm but we're actually at his house he'll come over here in a second and say hello but behind me is the new I don't even know what but <laughs> so it's a EK3 1.5 LSI right yep. but it hasn't got an engine or a gearbox from what I understand the uh, the car itself is in need of some uh, welding and obviously you guys know I've just passed my welding so I want to be able to do some welding <laughs> so this is the replacement for the Saxo I think it's much more appropriate for what I know obviously you get to work alongside Barney with it as well I don't know if there's any plan to ever put this on the road at all but if there is, you guys will be the first to know, but for now, it's just going to be a car that I can practice my welding on. We'll have a proper look around it at some point, but the weather's awful. It's getting dark. I want to show you Barney's... This is Barney. Hello, everybody. I want to show, uh, show you Barney's unit, which is just up the road, so let's hurry up and get this done and then get up there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah boy. Sick. Okay, I'll go get the dog real quick, so I feel bad oh, leaving it. On the stuff. trailer. Don't panic. It hasn't got an engine in, so we can actually do it this way around, and it still has that engine in the boot, so the weight is evenly is distributed properly uh, we're just going to go up to his unit now so I can show you around show him what he does and then uh, we're going to talk about what the potential future for this thing is and like I said it will just be potential there's no guarantees with this one okay <laughs> don't hold me to it I'm now inside boys they've let me uh, run free while they do a little bit of work down here but Barney's been super paranoid about me coming in here he's like oh it's dirty it's dirty I've been so busy so busy so just to fill you in real quick, the run up to Christmas is obviously really busy with everybody trying to get parts for their cars. Barney, like I said, does second hand stuff mainly. We've got over here bumpers, boots. We've got bumpers and boots to start with and interior. Then we've got engine parts all over the place down here, gearboxes, massive intake. <laughs> Look at that. And it's just, it's pretty insane. Like, so when I come down here with Pete, this is where Pete got his EF uh, SIR bumper from. So uh, you can see there's bumpers all up there in multiple, multiple colours and everything like that. Engines, 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 lights, suspension, just this is like heaven for Honda guys I think. <laughs> because I actually even asked him for some EG stuff and we turned up and was like, oh actually I need this for the EG, do you have any? And he was like, oh I might actually have some. So we've got engines, we've got B series, D series, I think there's some K series tucked away up here. And it's pretty insane. We've also got ramps so they work on the cars, they do servicing and all that malarkey. Uh, some EG tucked up just there, covered in bumpers as you can see. Another EF, oh hello. Look at that, a little EF ready to go. We don't know what engine they're putting in that. Interesting to find that out actually. Oh, it's getting undersealed at the minute. That's what we're going to be doing soon. Another EG, this looks nice too. Oh, carbon bonnet, that looks really clean, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah, that's going to be what mine looks like with a stripped out interior and that. That looks real sick. We've got another EF over here. So 
And then behind that, we've got an Aqua EK. Cool, nice. Look at that. Nice, man. So, they have a multitude of stuff down here and all of their details are going to be in the top comments. So if you're after some niggly little bits for your car and you think, I can't afford to buy them new, please hit up Barney at Honda Nuts. He will have something here. And if he doesn't, he'll probably know someone that does. Look at the number plate on that EP3, by the way. Oh, I want it. So they've got a multiple amount of amazing things down here, especially with these lights. All these lights and stuff is so cool to look at. Like, it's just like a graveyard of Honda parts. Manifolds, intake manifolds, a lot. So, like I said, make sure you mention me if you're going to get in touch with Barney. All these details are down below. I think it'll be great. And uh, I think it'll be great to see how many people from my channel go over to his to see what you can get. So, yeah, he's got a lot of nice stuff here. Let's go see how they're getting on. You know what? Every time I come down here, there is some car with my stickers on it. Either like that yellow DC2 that you were cutting up, do you remember? Yeah. Tom Crowther's old one. Look what I've just seen on the K20 NHB. Look at that! I have not made these stickers for years. So that will be like pure old school. I love that, that's sick. And you won't let me have this number plate, no? Mm -mm. Look at how cool that number plate is. That's going on the new project. Ooh, it better be a K20 Night or Black then. Might be. It better be, or we can do a swap. Can't give too much away, can you? <laughs> guys are looking for some EP3 parts for me that I've asked about, but I'm just going to give you guys an ask too. The person didn't pull through that said he had the silver surrounding head unit, so if any of you, any of you out there have that, that'd be amazing. If you can just get in touch with me on Instagram, I'll have it. If you can drop it down, that'd be amazing. Um, if not, I'll sort out postage. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Look at that, Honda Nuts to the rescue, boy. They've sorted me out with one. Now all I need is to get the head unit. I'm happy about that. Might have to change this out, sort out these little marks out, but that won't be too hard, because I can definitely replicate this color. So it'll be, uh, it'll be wicked to get that in there. Looking really smart on the dash. Maybe I have to change it out to put the aircon back in. But that's just a little box at the back from what I understand. So we can do that when we get the other, other one in, but that's one more part for the EP resolved. Sick, this is why. On the nuts are awesome to know. <laughs> Such a good boy, aren't you, buddy? Hey, aren't you? Car is loaded up, boys. I'm gonna blind you with my head torch. Cheers, thank you so much, Barney. So, we're gonna be working with Barney on this project if I can get it beyond the arches bit, but we'll have a proper look around it tomorrow. Um, I've shown you around Barney's place here. It's pretty sick. Is there anything you wanna say? Because I know you love being on camera. Not really. No, I didn't think there would be. I'm gonna have a quick look on the car now. It's all strapped up and. Uh, I'm excited, man. He's actually chucked in a front bumper as well for me. And my, the main thing, once again, the main thing about this Civic is the rust. So I'm going to be, it's all for me to practice my welding on. He's kindly as well supplied the arches, which is an absolutely legendary move. But we'll cut in here, because we'll, the arches, you have to do them all from there, from what I understand. But we're going to cut in, make sure there's no real rot inside. But if there is, I've got uh, sheet metal at home. We'll have a proper look around the car tomorrow, make a proper list, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Sign out, well, sorry, I'm blinding you with my head torch. Do you like my head torch, Barney? It's sick, mate. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it here. Look, it even glows in the dark. Look, see that? Does yours glow in the dark? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna leave it here for now. I wanna make sure you go give Barney some love over at Honda Nuts. Do you wanna shout out where you can be found? Um, Honda Nuts on Facebook, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Or Chris Barney Barney is my profile. And also the Honda Trade Parts group, which I'm going to link down below. Yes, yes. You guys need to go join up to that. I'm one of the mods on there, so I'll be deleting all your posts if they're horrible. <laughs> so that would be cool. Um, but yeah, from me and from Barney and the rest of the Honda Nuts team down here, I'm going to go home now and uh, have a Merry Christmas, Barney. And I hope you have a wonderful time. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, another project car on the channel because I definitely need one then. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. I'm sorry that we ended the video there. I just got back so late. It was absolutely carnage with the rain. And I just thought, sod this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so I did. You'll see behind me, I've got the car here. I want to get it off the trailer right now and put it here-ish, around here. And then I want to have a real good look around it, like bonnet up, kind of look around, because we didn't do that at all. Um, Oh, it's still got the bonnet latch and stuff on it, that's pretty cool. And to really see all the major defects with this thing, and then kind of have a little think about and explain about what the actual plan of action is. And then we're going to end this video here today because I'm going to film a whole new video 
later on doing some other bits and showing the parts that have arrived so stay tuned for that one but we're on a, we're on a roll here aren't we? with all these whips and parts turning up another honda again oh man i'm excited and i'll tell you what i'm mainly excited because i get to do some welding i'm really like <laughs> that welding's my favorite thing in the world now so I'm, I'm really glad so i'm gonna get this all ready get this all off and then uh, we can go from there worry is right now if I do this on my own which I am very much tempted to do is that this is just gonna roll straight into that fence now maybe if I get in it and try and push it like from my foot maybe and then use the brake we'll see I might have to put Finn away because this could be this could be an ending right come on bud. We didn't crash it. Oh yes, we didn't crash it. You are not gonna be a banger racing car. Unless I mess up the welding. History of this thing is, I got this off Honda nuts because it was going to be a banger racing car. I rang him and I said, do you wanna hook up some sort of deal? He said, no. <laughs> no he didn't, he's a good guy. We sorted out a really good deal I think and uh, I ended up with this thing. And I think this could be a really cool project on the channel because obviously you've seen us put a car back together. This one. But you won't have ever seen any welding as such by me. Now, this car is a car for me to practice welding on. That is the whole agreement, the whole deal. If I mess this up, there's no like contracts being broken or anything. It is simply a car that my friend has given me to try and learn to weld bodywork on because we all know you can learn basic welds, but to be able to do bodywork welding, that's a whole different ball game. So, I will show you real quick. So as you can see, the car does come with a front bumper. Obviously, I've just chucked it on there like real quick so it doesn't line up or anything, but it's a facelift T-Rage. Um, obviously, it needs a lot of body work doing. The bumper's all messed up, so we're gonna have to work something out on that. Might have to just get a replacement one. That might be the easiest thing. But we're not gonna do that until we have tackled these rear arches. Honda rear, ar Honda rear arches are renowned for going bad, especially in the English weather. And yeah, so this is what we're gonna replace it with. So. I don't know if you can see. Let me put you down real quick. This is a re uh, aftermarket replacement wheel arch, so it's shaped in the OEM sizing. It's just not OEM Honda pricing. We supply these on the website, so I'll link them in the top comment as well in case anybody wants one of these. Highly advise a body shop doing this instead of someone that's fresh out of a welding course like me, but it's worth giving it a go because, like I said, it's cost nothing to do. So that will replace that rear arch completely like that. But I've just got to work out where I'm going to cut from and then how to weld this in, prep it properly and all the rest of it. So it should be really interesting to learn and I will show you guys. But but I also really hope you guys will respect the fact that I probably won't show everything because when you, like especially on the first go anyway, because when you're posting these videos online and you get a lot of people that obviously know what they're talking about and then you get a lot of people that think they know what they're talking about, that some people can be really nasty. And when you're just setting out, I don't want like pure abuse i don't really want pure abuse i want like advice good advice and so i'm going to be kind of hitting up the professionals that have done this plenty of times before for good advice on it so i can master this technique because it's something i really want to learn this isn't for you this isn't for youtube or anything like that this is for me personally because i love being down here i hate i hate engine stuff i really really hate doing the engine stuff and i feel like body work could be something great to learn before i learn engine stuff <laughs> so so yeah, that's that. Um, we'll have a proper look around this in a second. Have a full look around this car now. I've explained about the rust, so we can not worry about the rust. The car, the car is in the beautiful colour known as Milano pink. Now I don't know if you be able to see it on here, but it is not red at all, apart from like the bottom half of the car. So that's uh, something new. Interior-wise, it's got a uh, old cassette player. Now anybody under 25 cassettes are something we had when I was children. So uh, that's interesting. That I might even keep that in here for the banter and get some like old cassettes to listen to. And then it's obviously a facelift. It's got the facelift dials in there. It's got half a steering wheel, uh, not fitted properly seat, and not much of the rest of the interior apart from the dash which is fine because we can work out what we're going to do with the car when we get to this point um i mean bodywork wise apart from the arches and there's a crack on that rear bumper down there um there's a few scratches up here but that isn't end of the world because i have to just insert a disclaimer i might go a bit far, far with a project in my head but i'm putting a disclaimer here right now 
if I do not do this welding very well, the car will not be going any further. I will not be paying a body shop to do this. This is just me. So it might take a long time to do this. And this project isn't starting until the EP3 is sold. If that makes, maybe, I don't know. It depends if I can stop myself welding, but I, I, may, I might just have to get on with it. But we'll see. Um, anyway, regardless, the project will not be a project until the welding is classed as good. And then we can consider the rest. So as I was saying, there's some scratches on it, and uh, this front, this front uh, lip as well has some drift stitch down here. So these are super cheap on eBay. This is just a replica lip, so I'm probably just going to get another one of those if it gets to that point. I like the grill, so I'll probably keep that. Um, the headlight-wise, I'm going to buy some cheap EJ9 headlights, because this is an EK3. I'm just going to buy cheap OEM headlights, and then I want to convert them to having the HID bulb in it. Like that whole uh, cluster, the HID one in. They're really, really cool looking, and I think that... Um, with the rest of the car that should look sick we're looking around the rest of the bodywork all the doors look straight it's got the original rub strips which i really like um the one weird thing to me is it's got pre-facelift rear lights in it now i don't know if they were swapped in or on t-red ones they were just like that but it is what it is this project has a name by the way can anybody guess what it is from the number plate we're calling this project project derp this is the derp civic and it's going to be an absolute beast if i can do the welding we'll get we'll get to that Oh man, this one's got a snap bonnet thing as well. I better get good at doing these. Oh damn it. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get in the bonnet. Ooh, that's, that's worrying. I wonder what happened to that poor thing. There was some rust on there as well. Oh, this is a bad condition bonnet. Okay. Under here, we've got anything major to worry about. This isn't an issue because if the plans are going to happen... Okay, well, okay. The plan, the actual plan is I to K-swap it if... I can sort all the rust out and that doesn't just mean the rusty rear arches I have to work out where else might be foobard um, like all of this down here this is terrible I mean that might just need cleaning up and resealing actually but I'm gonna I'm gonna go over it properly this is gonna be something I'm gonna do on my own but I am gonna try and do it properly obviously I'll get my friends to help put it back together and stuff but I'm gonna have to strip basically the whole car down but yeah we're gonna strip all of this stuff out because obviously I'll be upgrading the brake system and all that but I mean I'm not a big fan of taking it all out put it back together but if we're doing welding we might as well weld up a load of the holes and make it look nice and tidy and you know this can be a long long term project like the eg's been and uh, hopefully build something cool out of it if and i say if i manage to do the welding neatly enough but that's it really i just want to show you around it once again this is sponsored by honda nuts so i've linked his facebook groups down below and his instagram page so make sure you go give him some love say thank you from my community to him because he's given us a whole other car to do content on and a car for me to learn how to weld up so i'm gonna kind of i think i might use one of those clickbait titles because everybody seems to be rebuilding cars at the minute i'm gonna be like i bought a scrapyard civic and i'm gonna rebuild it because it's true i am going to but from me now, I'm going to, in the next video, show you all the parts, all I've got for the EP3. Because uh, all of that's arrived today. So I'll, I'll be able to fill you in on what's going to happen in the future. But the main goal for me tonight is to clear out this garage. And that's going to be stripping that engine down. So I'll do a few montages in the next video of me slowly taking that apart. Because I need to get that out. I need it to be movable. So I can actually have this garage space back again. So, right guys, I'm going to say thank you very much from me here. I hope you like the new Civic <laughs> Project Dirt. You have to let me know, right? I don't want you to know. I don't want to hear what you want me to do to it. What I want to hear is what you would do to this. If this was your car with your money, what would you do? I want to hear your craziest ideas. Leave a comment down below. So the winner of the last competition is... So thank you so much for entering. Uh, the gifts will be on the way to you after Christmas now. I'm not back in until Monday, um, the 31st of December, and that's only for a morning. So I'll get everything um, that we do in these videos out that day. So there will be a slight delay now, but that is that is the case. Also, we're going to be redoing the uh, the giveaway. So once again, it's a pair of stickers in the colour of your choice this time, and also a 621 keyring. And I might even throw a Bandit Supply coin in there, because I've still got some of those left. So from me, thank you very much, guys. Have a, I hope you've had a very Merry Christmas, and uh, you're having a great day, whatever day I've uploaded this video on. I hope you had a great holidays anyway. And I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.